This is an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. Tim Shields is an award-winning landscape photographer and the founder of the Photography Academy, which offers online photography courses. In addition to teaching photography, he also has several books out, including The Photo Cookbook. He's also hosted the world's first live webinar from the edge of the Grand Canyon. We'll talk about that in a bit. Tim joins us via Skype from British Columbia. Hi, Tim. Hi, Peter. It's great to be here today. Great to have you on the program. I actually found you through a a Facebook commercial for your photo cookbook, and I thought that was an ingenious idea, and we'll get to that in a moment. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what you call the four-step system. Yeah, so this is something that I created as a result of a lot of frustration with my photos. And if I go back a number of years, I was on this family photography trip to the Grand Canyon. And I was quite excited about getting there because I was steadfast in my belief that I was going to come away from that trip with these amazing landscape photos. So when I finally arrived on the edge of the Grand Canyon, I was walking around with my camera in my hands And even though it was a beautiful sunset, when I reviewed my photos later on that evening in the hotel room, I was just so disappointed with these photos that I had taken. And I came to this recognition that I really didn't know how to take beautiful landscape photos. And when I left the Grand Canyon, we went to Las Vegas And I came across a gallery of one of the best landscape photographers in the world. His name is Peter Lick, and his photos are just off the chain with how beautiful they are. And when I walked into his gallery and saw these very wide formats of his landscape photos that just looked absolutely incredible, like jaw-dropping, that was when I made a vow to myself that I was going to figure this out and find out how I could take photos that looked as good as his. So this kind of set me on the path of a years-long research project where I read every book on landscape photography, watched every video, and finally, when I was in the kitchen one day and I was watching my wife doing some cooking and she was using a recipe, it just came to me that I need a recipe some steps that I can follow and that anyone else can follow so that when I'm out there in the field, I will be able to take stunning landscape photos. So I created what I now call my four-step system. And it's this simple series of steps that I follow. And uh, when I started to use that series of steps, my photography completely changed. I started winning awards. People started contacting me and asking if they could buy their photos. Eventually, and this was never my goal in the first place, it became my full-time career and I started teaching the four-step system to others. And now we've had tens and tens of thousands of people who have learned that same four-step system and it's working for them. So Having a a system and steps to follow makes all the difference in the world, and it and it literally changed my life. Well, let's get to the uh, to the item that uh, first brought me to your attention, and that is, uh, I, I saw an ad for the photo cookbook, and I thought, what an ingenious way to get people into photography because you have in that book 30 recipes, but most importantly, you have a, a QR code which people can click on and they get videos. Yeah, I wanted to make the book as interactive as possible. And with the advent of QR codes and everyone has a phone by their side, why not uh, for each recipe uh, combine that with a how-to video? And when I say recipe, so one of the 30 recipes in the book is how do you take a picture of a sunset? So then there are a series of steps like a recipe you can follow for how to do that. Or how do you take a picture of a person? How do you take a portrait photo? So for each recipe, there is a corresponding how-to video, and you can just launch that video on your phone by scanning the QR code. Excellent. Now, uh, you mentioned the uh, the horror of when you looked at your pictures at the Grand Canyon. So uh, people always like to go back to what I call the scene of the crime. You actually went to the edge of the Grand Canyon for a live webinar? Tell me about that. 
Yeah, so it's amazing how the world changed in March 2022, and most of us didn't notice it, but that was the date that Elon Musk, who is the owner of the Starlink satellite dish company, which is owned by SpaceX, he made an announcement that his Starlink satellite dishes from that point going forward would be mobile. In other words, he had enabled a roaming feature Previously, if you owned a Starlink satellite dish, it was attached or fixed to your home and you could never move with it. And if you tried to move with it, it just wouldn't work. But in March 2022, he enabled this roaming feature so you could actually take it with you on the road. And at that time, I thought, wow, I could actually provide a photography training course from any location in the world. And if I, if I could choose anywhere, where would that be? And it was just like the answer was so obvious because my photography journey began on the edge of the Grand Canyon. I had to do a training course on the edge of the Grand Canyon. So I created what turned out to be the world's first live photography webinar. My wife and I were the only people there for it in person, but we had multiple thousands of people watching online. It was really cool because we were in an area where there was no cell phone data and no internet, but we backpacked in a battery pack and solar panels and this Starlink satellite dish and a laptop computer and all the photography gear. And my wife and I were literally the like 15 feet from the edge of the Grand Canyon. And we were broadcasting to photographers all around the world. And it was just such an incredible experience. I decided to do it again. And we did it from the sand dunes of Death Valley National Park. And just last month, actually, we did another one from Banff National Park from the edge of Moraine Lake. And this one we did it right at sunrise so that people even in Australia were watching as the sun was rising at Moraine Lake, which is like, in my view, the most beautiful lake on Earth. And uh, they were watching through the lens of my camera as I taught people how to take beautiful sunrise photos. So it's been an awesome adventure with landscape photography and running an education business at the same time. And it's it's a great, great use of technology. Now, in the minutes we have left, I, I want to talk about, uh, as I said, you are the founder of the Photography Academy. Uh, give us uh, the, you know, the elevator pitch as to what the Photography Academy is. Uh, people can find out more information, by the way, by going to photographyacademy.com. But tell us about photography, the Photography Academy. Yeah, so really what Photography Academy is all about is that we teach people how to take stunning landscape photos with the camera you already own. So it's not necessary to be running out and spending thousands on new camera gear. The camera you already have is going to be good enough. You just need to follow a four-step system. And once you learn that four-step system, which is so simple, you're going to be able to take beautiful landscape photos no matter where you are. And it's been life-changing for thousands and thousands of our students from around the world who are now winning awards for their photography using the camera they already had all along. So it's, uh, it's amazing to be part of the journey of people who have strived for their entire life to be able to take beautiful landscape photos and then suddenly they can. And they start winning awards, getting accolades, getting likes and comments online, and it's been life-changing for so many people. Now, what about those, you know, the the, the newer crowd, the ones who have who don't have a, a standard camera but have a, a cell phone? Yeah, and of course... I definitely recommend that we we should be all taking at least one photo every day just because you get better and better with the more that you do it, especially when you know the principles to use and what you need to look for as you take a picture. But cell phones take some pretty darn good photos. And uh, our training includes how to take great photos with your cell phone. Excellent. Uh, if people want more information, uh, can they take your courses and, and what's the cost? Yeah, so we have free webinars that you can watch. And if you go to photographyacademy.com, uh, right on the home page, you can sign up for and watch a webinar that, uh, like, for example, you can watch the webinar that we hosted last month from Banff National Park. They're all free to watch, and you get some excellent training for free during those webinars. 
Excellent. Uh, when you were a kid, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you started taking pictures as a child. I know I did. Uh, did you ever think that this would be what you're, you're doing? I mean, at the time you were a kid, the technology just wasn't there for the things you're doing now. Yeah, you're so right. I am looking at the camera that I bought when I was a kid. It's a Minolta DSLR camera, a film camera, obviously. And I bought it with money that I was making from my part-time job when I was in the eighth grade. And uh, I had no idea, no idea that my career would ultimately become so photography related. But it's been a lifelong passion. You know, photography is it's kind of like one of your best friends that it may come and go throughout your life. You'll get closer to it or you may drift away, but you always tend to come back to it. And the thing with photography is that you are actually creating your own art and creating images that you're proud of. And what I teach all my students is you need to take your absolute best images and print them big and put them on your wall at home because this is the art that you've created and you should be proud of it. Well, congratulations on your success. Again, people can go and get in more information by uh, going to your website, which is photographyacademy.com. Uh, again, I urge people to uh, take a look at that book, The Photo Cookbook. And thank you very, very much, Tim, for taking the time to be on the program with us. Thank you so much for having me, Peter. Award-winning landscape photographer Tim Shields, the founder of The Photography Academy. You can go to my website at thestufffile.com to the page for this show, which is show number 0741, and you'll find the links to Tim's site where you can order his books, check out his free webinars, and sign up for the online classes. You've just heard an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. To hear any or all of the full hour-long shows, visit thestufffile.com. Stuff is spelled S-T-U-P-H. That's thestufffile.com. A presentation of Flying Fish Communications.